One of my priorities as president is opening up the White House to the American people so that folks can understand what we're up to and have a chance to participate themselves. I am going to make history here as the first president to live tweet. It's much easier to tweet from a seated position. So this is how you tweet, huh? <laughs> oh, I got to get the hashtag. My tweet has been posted. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome to the first ever presidential Google Plus Hangout. Mr. President, may I just introduce you to my children? How's it going? I work for you guys, and that's part also of the kinds of interactions that we're having today. That makes our country stronger, it gives me ideas, it really, I think, uh, speaks to the strength of our democracy, and that kind of participation is something that I want to just keep on encouraging. We are coming to you live from the White House. We've got a great panel of senior administration officials. We're going to take your questions. It's uh, Jay Carney uh, visiting you from my office in the West Wing of the White House, where today I am reviving a first question. Time and again, we notice that the most creative ideas come from outside Washington. Hi, Ira. It's Nancy Antiparl at the White House. Your idea was intriguing to us about promoting youth mentorship programs. I can't believe this is happening, right? Is, is this Mr. President? This is Barack Obama. How are you? I just wanted to say thank you. You have no idea how much we army was. We're so thankful for you and, and Dr. Biden for what you're doing. It's so important. There's nothing more powerful than millions of voices that are calling for change, and all of your voices can make a difference. The hashtag is, don't double my rate. I asked students in North Carolina to do this earlier today, and they got a trending worldwide. I wrote into whitehouse.gov. I wasn't expecting a response, but I'm so happy the president wants to come and talk to middle class people like me. I had a chance to come to the White House today to share my story about what losing $40 a paycheck would mean to me. You should know that you made all the difference. Your voices changed the debate and reminded Washington what was at stake. What is this Twitter campaign all about? Turning up the volume by appealing to the public and with the help of the public, and they're breaking it down. President Obama's student debt initiative is in part a response to an online petition posted on a new White House website. The administration launched We the People last month. I think it's very important for the American people to stand up and be counted and make sure that their voice is heard. It may be done electronically or by tweet uh, in this day and age, uh, but it's still the same. You can make a difference. I really feel that I'm being heard, and it makes me really kind of invigorated. I'm just a regular citizen. They called me and asked me my opinion. It's been very heartening for me to see how effective I can be. It's clear that your story will be read and will be considered and um, can have a big impact on uh, the White House and the President and people who are making decisions. So it's worth it.